William Francis Bartlett by John Greenleaf Whittier O, while May Essex sit forlorn beside her sea-blown shore. Her well-beloved, her noblest, born, is hers in life no more. No lapse of years can render less her memory's sacred claim. No fountain of forgetfulness can wet the lips of fame. A grief alike to wound and heal, a thought to soothe. And pain, the sad, sweet pride that mothers feel to her must still remain. Good men and true she has not lacked, and brave men yet shall be. The perfect flower, the crowning fact, of all her years was he. As Galahad pure, as Merlin sage, what worthier knight was found to grace in Arthur's golden age the fabled table round? A. Voice, the bottle's trumpet note, to welcome and restore. A hand, that all unwilling smote, to heal and build once more. A soul of fire, a tender heart too warm for hate. He knew the generous victor's graceful part to sheathe the sword he drew. When earth, as if on evil dreams, looks back upon her wars, and the white light of Christ. Outstreams from the red disk of Mars, his fame who led the stormy van of battle well may cease, but never that which crowns the man whose victory was peace. Morn, Essex, on thy sea-blown shore thy beautiful and brave, whose failing hand the olive bore, whose dying lips forgave. Let age lament the youthful chief, and tender. Eyes be dim. The tears are more of joy than grief that fall for one like him.